Hi guys, what's up? Tommy here. And I wanted to make this video while I'm traveling. I haven't been making them in a little while. Just been traveling, moving about a little bit. But this one, while I'm, uh, while I'm traveling, I just wanted to make on um, why it's a young person, why it's good to travel as a young person and why you should do it. Um, if you're a man or woman, got a nice view of the beach here. Just in uh, sort of south of Cambodia at the minute, just doing a bit back back in in uh, Southeast Asia, just sort of by the coast, by the islands. We might head to in a few in a day or so. This is one of the cleaner. Um, this is one of the emptier beaches, sorry, and I think it's because it might be one of the dirtier ones. There's a bit of rubbish on here. Um, yeah, there's not many people here, but it's nice to walk down still. Anyway, this video about why you should travel as a young person, I think it's really important for a few reasons, man or woman. One being um, the people you meet. You meet, you meet people all the time. It can't even be too many sometimes. I remember when I was at home back in England, you don't meet as many people. Um, you kind of, where I was anyway in the countryside, might be a bit different if you're in the cities, but you kind of got a similar routine, meet the same people. And um, yeah, you don't interact with people as much. I guess maybe I should approach more people when I was at home, but um, yeah, there's more diversity traveling. Um, people aren't as in a rush, so it's easier to speak to them. And people are a bit more easy going because people are on kind of similar, similar kind of agendas. They have similar mindsets. Everyone's quite chilled out traveling. Backpackers and, and locals here in Asia, Southeast Asia, are usually quite quite jolly. Um, whereas in the Western world and you know, in Europe and that, they um, get yeah, a mixed batch. I think it's not all bad, but. Yeah, people definitely seem to be a bit more happier out here. So yeah, it's nice to talk to people out here. And for you men, it, for the women, I think the women are a lot more feminine, feminine over here. So it's it's nice to get that um, and experience that different kind of culture and you know the way they are over here. And yeah, they're certainly um, certainly different to the European women in a lot of ways. I think Western women. And yeah, it's nice to have that experience of interacting with them as well. Another reason we should travel as young people, I think, is you're kind of, um, you're, you're responsible for yourself. So if you're living at home with your parents as a young person, um, you know, unless you've moved out, you've kind of, you're, you're obliged to um, sort things out yourself. You know, your own kind of responsible for your own finances, um, your own way of getting about, you know, your own experiences. Um, you know, if you're moving long distances or, or to places, you kind of, or, or booking anything and even interacting with people still, you, you kind of, you're obliged to do it yourself. You have, you, you know, you're forced to do that yourself, which is um, really important as, a, as an adult. And um, it's something we all need to learn to do. So that's another that's another vital reason why we should um travel or at least at least move around on our own without you know the help of our parents or or guardians or other people doing everything for us really and um as i sort of mentioned before that the cultures really like um experiencing other cultures i'm in asia i i, I prefer um well my preference was to travel to asia first southeast asia and the culture is a lot of difference. There's, it's, there's a lot of things to, new to explore here. You know, new lands, new, new cultures, and I think that's really important. You know, you know, opens your mind a little bit to the, um, to, to you know, the possibilities of how um, we can, um, we can socialise, how we can interact, and the things we get up to really in different in different parts of the world. Um, there are similarities to here in Europe, of course, but you know, there's a lot, a lot of differences as well, and a lot of things that are, are done differently. Um, in terms of our way of life so that's another point to consider when traveling I know a lot of people like to go to um, sort of southern America uh, South America 
sort of Brazil and that, that those sorts of places, um, or Middle America they might call it. Um, uh, I haven't been there. Um, I might do it at some point, and um, yeah, I can definitely do a vlog there as well. But um, yeah, whichever whichever you think's best for you, really, and um, whichever you think is best for you. I thought Asia was, you know, the best for me. So you know, I've, I've come there and it's. You know, it's quite good so far, I'm really enjoying it. So yeah, I definitely recommend you guys travel and get out there as, as best you can, wherever you decide to go, that is. And the last point I want to mention is, um, in terms of traveling, a bit of solo traveling. I'm not actually solo traveling at the moment, but um, I know a lot of people do it. Um, things along, at least if you're with someone that you kind of you get along with and you have a good relationship with, that's good. But um, solo traveling, doing things on your own schedule, and um, doing things um, on your own time and getting about yourself, so you're really you know accountable and responsible for yourself. I think it's really important, um, and I'll, I'll, I'm definitely looking to do that at some point as well. So solo travel, you kind of have that freedom, the freedom to be and, and do what you do what you please. And I think that's really important. So yeah, that was all for now. Not a video went too long there. About six, seven minutes. Um, and yeah, I hope that, um, that sticks in your mind, guys, and you can consider doing that in your future. As I say, man or woman, very important for both of you. Um, I've met plenty of people out here um, that are doing that. And yeah, I think it's a really good way to, to grow yourself, develop yourself and to experience life, really. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind, guys. If you don't have too many responsibilities, definitely. If you do, maybe you might need to work around that, but if you don't, get on and do it. All right, peace, guys. See you in the next one.